Hey, what's up friends? Moses here from Driver Success. I hope you guys are doing well. So I'm recording this on Monday, September the 23rd, 2019. And guess what? Our time here at JB Hunt has run out. So JB Hunt has been using electronic clogs. We use electronic clogs. As I've showed you guys the people net and how we use the logs. But today we are changing from using e-logs and now we are going to ELD. Honestly speaking, I have no idea what the difference is. Because all along I thought electronic logs was the same thing as ELD. But from what I hear, uh, JB Hunt has been requesting like um, extensions. So uh, whenever the deadline would come, they would request more an extension. So we've been using e-logs, but we've been able to do certain things with our logs that you can't do with ELDs. For example, if I, uh, I wanted to take up uh, my 30 minute break, I would maybe be like in, a, in the rail and I would still move my truck uh, for a certain distance without it going on the drive line with uh, electronic logging that we've been using. Uh, for example, what else? We could do annotations on the logs. There are things we could do with the e-logs that we can't do now when we, we go into this new system, which is starting today. My understanding is that uh, some other um, like locations like maybe in California, some of those people uh, already started using the uh, ELDs. And so uh, some of the uh, part of the company has been using ELDs for some time. But at least for us here in Hazlitt, today is the first day. Uh, we have some guys out that have been trained to use these things just in case uh, I have a problem. Like right now, I'm having a problem logging in because... I think uh, maybe it needs to update so that it gives me the ELD. So that's what I'm doing right now. I have just restarted it so that I can see if it can give me the new ELD. If not, I'll have to go and have somebody help me out. We have a station where some of the drivers that have been already trained on these logs uh, can be able to help us out. You know, I'm surprised uh, actually. I didn't know that uh, all along I thought ELD and um, and e-logs was the same thing but apparently not because I think ELD is like ELD electronic logging device so I thought it was the same thing anyway the thing uh, from what I can gather at the moment the difference for me is gonna be in logging those breaks right now I've been able to you know like go uh, off for my 30 minute break but still move my truck to do whatever I need to do uh, without it kick, kicking me off of the off uh, duty status. But with the ELD, when, when you go off duty for your break, you don't move that truck for 30 minutes. If you do move that truck, then it's gonna kick you to the drive line as soon as I think uh, the truck gets to five miles per hour. The other thing is, I haven't been certifying my logs like with the uh, electronic clogging system that we had you really could get away with with it but with this you you have to cert certify all your logs uh, up to seven days behind if you don't that is um, a log violation that's the other thing uh, that is gonna change so those are the two things at least for me that for the moment I can see that are going to affect me. And really when you get used to it, 
it will be no big deal so it's gonna be verifying i mean certifying my logs every day making sure that uh my logs are certified at least for up to seven your logs have been resolved logs on this ld require you up to seven days back and uh making sure that i don't move my truck during my 30 minute break that is the big difference so this is the new screen right now it shows me the available hours i have to drive uh, come on uh gain at i have no i have no idea now what to do when this unsatisfied loads okay let me go to status. I'm gonna go on duty. Please confirm. Yeah, this is the truck. Uh, add shipment. Let me, no current shipment. Are you sure you'd like to continue with no shipment? Yes. Okay, so what? Okay, so let me go to options, review logs. Where is that back button? I know there is a back button I'm supposed to to hit. I don't want to hit this. I've already forgotten what they showed me to do. 17th, 18th. Oh, okay. So. I'm just going to certify that. Certify. 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 Certify 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 so um looks like all um, i've been able to certify my okay that is just giving me some information uh so it's gonna take time getting used to this thing right here that i came on duty at 217 uh, it will show me that gaining time active exceptions working shift work shift reset break work shift duty cycle duty so it gives you all this stuff uh, pre shift what is this I have no idea what that is. I'm just now trying to play around with this thing to see what. Okay. A shipment. Shipment ID. I think that's when we need, when we are putting in like, I think we put there our load number. Go home trailers you put your trailer i wonder if it will do it automatically logs so there's my log so okay uh you see how there's no button here which means that they were certified to one two three four five six seven so i have my seven days certified because if the, if any of them wasn't certified i would have a certified button right there it would be like let me show you like you see today i haven't yet certified that at midnight or past midnight that's when i will hit that ah uh, i think i'll get used to it on events what is this i think it just shows probably me coming on duty and all that stuff details
so yeah when i said um we are out of time here at jb hunt that's what i meant that we are out of uh e log time now we are on eld so my first load is going to i think grand prairie i'm just gonna head to the office and um get my stuff and then i will head to um grand prairie i think it's a live load if they haven't changed it and yeah so that's it appointment was between 10 o'clock and 4 o'clock i got here about uh 3 58 so that was cool i'm just gonna open the doors back it up and then they will come and unload me